My mom is a preschool teacher, and this apple carafe will be the perfect gift to start the school year off right. Start with some adhesive stencil film, just like this, and cut yourself about a four inch wide piece. You can get this at craft stores. Now, if you don't have adhesive stencil film, you can use contact paper. This makes it easy to make custom stencils or designs, anything you want. But for this project, I'm making an apple. My piece of film is cut to four by six inches, which is just the right size for the larger apple. Peel away the backing from the film and lay this right on the craft. You can get crafts and glasses like this at a lot of different places, home stores, craft stores. Smooth the film down and cut out the shape that you'd like. Now this apple and little slice apple template is available at MarthaStewart.com. And of course you can do any design that you like. Now tape the apple down. Of course you could have traced this shape before you applied the film, but this makes it very easy to make those precision cuts right into the stencil. And with a craft knife, trace the silhouette of this apple. And start with those little tiny pieces first. You're cutting through the layer of the template and the adhesive film. This is a foolproof way to transfer a delicate stencil onto your surface. Cut out the entire apple shape and then remove the paper, making sure that the film stays stuck down. And then very carefully, with the help of your craft knife, lift off that inside portion. And the negative space left behind is your apple shape. The large craft has a whole apple, so it's only natural that the glasses to go with it will have a little half apple slice on them. Cut a little more film, peel the backing, and lay right on your glass. Tape the half apple template onto the stencil and cut out your stencils. Lift the center apple and make sure that those seeds stay in place and Repeat on the second glass so you have a nice little set when you're all done. Two glasses and a water craft. The stencils are all ready, so now it's time for the etching cream. I love this stuff. It's such a great way to create subtle designs on glass. It's kind of strange looking, but don't be afraid to glob it on. A nice thick coat. I'm going to go right from the bottle and then spread it and spread that out a little bit. If it's too thin, you won't get that nice, even etched area, so make sure it's nice and thick. And once you've applied a nice, thick coat, all we have left to do is wait about 20 minutes, and then wash it off. And now it is time for the best part. Peel away and reveal the magically etched surface. Such a nice, crisp design. This is such a charming set. I love them together. This will make a great back-to-school gift or will look great on my table filled up with apple cider.